here's the deal. I've been trying to figure out how to put videos online all week, and I'm not very good at it. So for right now, until I finish figuring out how YouTube and Zoom and everything works, I'm just going to do some simple Facebook Live videos for you. Um, first off, sending everybody meta, loving kindness. Please, please know that although we can't necessarily, well, we can't at all, um, control our circumstances, there are things that we can control. We can control our breath, which is incredibly important. We can control our perception of circumstance. We can control how we treat each other. We can decide to sleep well. We can decide to eat well. And we can find things that remind us of our wholeness. And those are all things that yoga teaches us. If we give in to panic, if we give in to fear and act and think irrationally, we will make a situation either in fact be worse than it is or we will make a situation feel worse than it is. And so I challenge you right now to look around and think about kind of the metaphor of a dark night. That if we did not have a dark night, we would not be able to see stars. And stars are beautiful. Stars are kind of signs of hope and light. And those stars can reflect what we might consider a kind of diamond energy inside of our heart. And that energy inside our heart, that bright spark that when we're quiet, we can feel and we can remember. We are able to, what would I say? We're able to be calm. And I've had a lot of people, and thank you so much for asking me how I'm doing. It means a lot to me. I'm doing well. How my sweet yoga studio, Sunday City Yoga, is doing. It is maybe not today, just, just because of that earthquake we had and the power was knocked out. Um, but we've been running on a very, very light schedule for the students who need to have the yoga and need to have people. They don't have other people in their lives. And so we've had just a few small classes daily with anywhere between one and five people and it's been really beautiful. Uh, for right now, I want to, I'll just do it with you and I'll speak kind of while I'm doing it, but teach you some very simple breathing things that you can do. Um, the breath in yoga is incredibly important. There's been a lot of scientific studies done on it lately, which I think is wonderful, on how the breathing practices in yoga can kind of retune the nervous system. It, the breathing exercises can put us in a state of well, parasympathetic, which is rest and digest. When we are in that mode, we are able to produce endorphins. We're able to think rationally. We are able to sleep better. We make better food choices. And so that's where I want to start for right now. You don't have to join me now. Um, you can, I'll try to put out a regular video later. That's a YouTube video, but that's, that's not going to happen for a little bit. But for right now, just if you want to join with me, you can, or you can maybe save this and do it later. And find a place to sit. I'm most comfortable on the floor. I'm, anyone that knows me well, I'm not very good at furniture, but I'll, I'll use it if I have to, but otherwise the floor is good for me. You can sit in the chair as long as you can put both feet planted firmly on the ground. And you can sit on the cushion, whatever makes sense. But if you'd like to, find a seat. And what you do, notice your sit bones and reach the sit bones down. You can actually conscientiously press the sit bones down into your seating surface. And in return, the ground gives back to you, or whatever the surface is, it's just forces of physics that allows you to sit up nice and tall. And when you can sit up nice and tall, you can pull the chin in. And when you pull the chin in and reach the sit bones down, it helps us to lengthen the spine. And when the spine is very long, our posture improves. And we are also able to find breath a lot easier. So you can do that. If you
you're going to do this with me, you can close your eyes, start to see if you can bring the breath so that you are breathing in through the nose, out through the nose. If for any reason you have a circumstance that doesn't allow that, you can still breathe through the mouth, then that would be okay too. But start to focus on exhalations and every exhale that you take, see what you can relax. Let the inhales come naturally right now. Then every exhale, see if you can relax your tongue, your jaw, the eyes, the ears. Relax your shoulders. Tip the chin down just a little bit and that'll help the shoulders relax easier. Every exhale, start to increase the pressure as you exhale so that you can release more breath. Maybe at the same time, pull the low belly in. So just kind of pull the stomach in towards the front of the spine to feel the core start to engage. It doesn't have to be a lot. And just do a body scan while you are focusing on exhale and see where the tension is. If you need to, you can have a hand on the heart. You can have your hands on your knees. Sometimes people like to even close their eyes and have their hands holding the sides of their face like a almost like a nurturing position of a mother to a child. But what allows you to remember that you're safe, that you're going to be okay, and that you in fact right now are okay. So we start to use the breath to calm down the mind, to activate our parasympathetic nervous system, and then start to also focus on the inhale. So the exhale is what we call the aponic side of the breath. So we're releasing, we are surrendering. We're allowing ourselves to be held by the energy of Mother Earth. The inhale is the pranic side of the breath. So it's a big, long inhale expansion. Maybe pause in the top, unless it stresses you. And then exhale, keep releasing as much breath as you can, starting to wrap the ribcage around your spine. And it can't just be here, it can simply be exhale, pause, inhale as much as you can, maybe hold, relaxing though. And you could just do that anytime you feel like stress is coming. But you can also start to count the breath. If you count the breath, just see how long it takes you to exhale. For me, and then inhale, and see if you can inhale as long and as smoothly as you exhale. And then exhale again, just counting. Counting will help to regulate and focus the mind. And then inhale. If you'd like to, you can continue just doing it like that with just little light pauses at the top and the bottom. If you'd like to turn it into a four part breath, you would see how long it takes you to exhale, hold empty either for a count or maybe if, as long as you feel okay with this, holding the breath empty for the count that you exhale. And then very slowly inhaling nice and evenly to the top. Hold, maybe for the amount of time it took you to inhale, or just as long as you feel comfortable. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do five rounds of this with my own eyes closed. Um, I've been doing this for about 30 years and so my breaths are a little bit long, but you can take as many breaths as you like. I'll close my eyes, won't talk too much, but if you'd like to join in or maybe use this video later if you're feeling anxious, maybe it will help you. Okay, so here's what I'll do, nice and tall, Chin drops, shoulders broad, a couple of natural breaths, and then I will begin. And I'll do the four part breath. Now 
begins and the exhale for even counts, doesn't matter how fast or slow you count. When you're finished, just take some natural breaths, even if you need to breathe in and out through the mouth. I truly believe that, that if you're able to do this every day, even if it's many times a day, just five deep breaths, find a sense of grounding, just close your eyes, focus on exhale, breathe very smoothly, breathe very evenly. Notice what there is to notice. Be with it. And then you can take the breaths, they're actually called samavritti breaths that, that I just talked about, and it just means equal breaths. So you're just trying to equalize the inhale and the exhale. If you're feeling extra anxious, you can exhale a little bit longer than the inhale, and that will help with the grounding. But otherwise, that kind of equal breathing patterns are going to soothe the mind, soothe the nervous system, and help you to find a sense of solace, and to remember that we can control our perceptions of what is happening, and we can choose to be patient, we can choose to be calm, and we can choose to be brave, even if we feel afraid, okay? So I'll do another live video in a little while that shows some very simple exercise, like movement type things, just simple yoga poses that most people can do to some extent that I learned from my teacher, Sri Vatsarama Swami. And I'll share those with you. And there are things that you can do anywhere, even if you don't have a yoga mat, okay? For right now, take care. I love you. And I believe in you and I believe in the power of the human spirit. And I know that even though this is hard, that some good things are coming from 
our current scenarios in the world, but good things will also continue to come. There's always goodness, even within the hard things, and I know this, and I believe it with all my heart. Okay, take care.